Chief Royal Advisor General Brem Dinasulanon is living testimony for an old saying. Silence speaks louder than words. For more than six years, the pro taxin camp has put Brem at the center of their political vendetta. All this time, Brem has kept his silence. He does not initiate any court battles to protect his reputation, despite rude words, salubrious remarks hurled at him. On Friday, the government is scheduled to host a garden party organized under the theme "Love Thailand, Forward Thailand." Brem is guest of honor at the government house to preside over the event. Which is part of the campaign to rally international confidence in the country's commitment on flood control. Although Brem will be a guest of the government in connection with flood control, many still speculate about a hidden political message. A number of Thaksin's supporters might be slack-jawed, as they may find it hard to believe the sudden shift in Brem's stature from chief villain to being a good guy. In Thaksin's estimation. Brem is a target of political expediency. When Taksin faced with turmoil pledging his leadership, he singled out Brem as the culprit instead of reflecting on his flaws. In 2008, Taksin showed the first sign of seeking forgiveness for getting on the wrong side of Brem. He was seen rushing to apologize to Brem when the two met by chance at the funeral for the martyr of former army chief General Anupong Pawjinda. Last month, Ying Lak had a first public meeting with Brem during a social function organized by the army. For months preceding the meeting, Taksin abruptly stopped criticizing the king's men. A few weeks after the meeting, he voiced a position to amending the Les Mates Law. As the government has adopted a hardline stand on royal insults, and Taksin is distancing himself from those seen as being anti-royal. As the government has adopted a hardline stand on royal insults, and Taksin is distancing himself from those seen as being anti-royal, the rough patch between Brem and the pro-Taksin camp seems to be over. Taksin attributed his predicament to Brem. His sister Ying Lak is now quoting Brem as an ally, while the government undergoes turbulence. Triggered by the two financial decrees, decide to boost flood control measures, plus a controversial campaign to amend the Les Mates Law, and the government's push for a charter change. The nation analysis by Arvind Pananon for ASEAN TV.